Hello guys and welcome to my current household video. This is going to be a fairly quick video. I'm not going to I'm not I'm going to try not to drag it out too long, but I haven't done a current household video in quite some time. Um not since the Zora household video, which then became a series. So, um, I actually, up until fairly recently, wasn't even playing another household other than my Let's Plays. So that could possibly be why. But um, this right here is my current household, and they do have a lot to, to tell you about themselves. Um, first off, as you can see, they're they're packing. Um, they are, well, no, they're not packing. They're stacking. <laughs> I got to get my, uh, terminology, um, you know, all in order here, but <laughs> they definitely have a good money flow in the family. Um, but really it was pretty much entirely made off of these babies right here. This girl took the initiative, you know, nobody really believed in her, um, that she could do it, but she bought a bunch of piece of crap cars and she fixed them up and made them perfection. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of hard work, it took a lot of studying and research because she's not a, a naturally handy person. Um, but she got it done and that's how she amassed enough money to purchase this place. And of course in conjunction with her husband's uh, own income because he's pretty high up in the uh, uh, business career I do believe. So let's talk a little bit about the family. The first Sim, I started off with this Sim. She was who I started with. Her name is Anna uh, Fields. I can't remember what her original name was. But, uh, gosh, I don't even, I don't remember what her maiden name was. But um, Fields is, the, is her husband's name. So uh, her name is Anna Fields, as you can see, and she's stunning. Um, you can probably tell that I got at least a little bit of inspiration from Marilyn Monroe, but uh, really, she doesn't really look that much like her. Um, but she is definitely one of my most gorgeous, most beautiful Sims. Um, she's grabbing something to eat right now. Anna, as you know, she's the one who kind of amassed a fortune from selling all of these cars. Anna, really, her dream was just to be rich. She just never wanted to worry for anything. She wanted to have so much money, she couldn't stand it. She wasn't really necessarily care about gold digging. She, she didn't really care how she got the money. Gold digging could be a way, or you know she could make the money an honest way. It didn't matter to her. She just wanted money. And if you haven't noticed already, we're obviously in Roaring Heights. Yeah, I know, I'm addicted, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, um, but yes, she she just her whole goal in life was to make the big bucks. But in in time, she she had a career. She worked um, at the she was in the business career as well because she was just trying all sorts of ways to make the money, and um, business was an option. So she was in the business career, and that is when she met MD Fields. MD kind of swept her off her feet a little bit, you know? He wasn't really her type at first glance when she, when they first um, uh, met each other, but he kind of swept her off her feet. She, he was so smooth, so smooth. I mean, this guy is like velvet, like satin, like suede. I mean, smooth as a baby's buttocks. That was this guy and just blew her away. And for a very long time, they were extremely happily in love. And their first child is right here. Her name is Helen Fields. And she is a beautiful, very exotic looking little girl. As you can see, she has her mother's hair, but a decent mix between her mother and her father's skin tone. So she's quite <clears throat> quite tanned skin and um which is very different she's a very different looking little girl let me go ahead and have her stand up so we can kind of look at her for a second so here's my baby girl she has her mommy's eyes as well I mean this child is gonna be 
a killer. Like, she's too gorgeous, too exotic, too different not to just blow everybody's socks off. So this is baby girl number one. They had her very soon after they got married, although they tried very hard and for a very long time mm. to have a baby. Um, they struggled a lot with getting pregnant. Um which actually put a put a bit of a toll on their relationship. But with time, things started to kind of fray between MD Fields or MD and Anna. And it's 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 hard to really explain because it really wasn't necessarily that they started fighting or anything really went wrong. It was just things just started to die down and Anna kind of got caught up with somebody else you know she is a very flirty person and she's a party animal which in com combination to me just screams impulsive so you know oh she's gonna woohoo with him in the car oh my gosh like uh, I, I don't I don't even know because um, if you guys have noticed they are on the rocks right now because of the fact that um, Anna he found out Anna cheated on her and now he's woohooing with her okay uh, anyways I'm gonna leave them to their devices <laughs> um, Anna kind of got involved with this person named Gil McGinnis y'all might be familiar with him if you have Roaring Heights she just it really wasn't anything serious. It wasn't love. It was purely just the right time, the right place. And Anna was feeling it. She was drunk and it happened. And that resulted in baby Jack. Um, Jack is the child of Gil and um, Anna. And definitely, obviously, the child of an extramarital affair. And um, yeah, that that was uh, that was really tough. Um, for a long time, MD really didn't admit to himself that clearly something was up with the kid that was in his house. They had not slept with each other or woohooed with each other in a long time. They were not on a, in a good place. They just weren't. And he kind of knew, but he he wasn't ready to admit it. He was not okay with admitting it. So, you know, obviously a lot of drama between the two of them. So basically that leads us, you know, if you guys must be thinking, okay, so they cheated. They weren't on a good, uh, they weren't in a good place. He found out she cheated. How is there another baby in all of this? Well, Elizabeth is their third child, the second daughter of their relationship. Um, and she is the product of them trying to make it work, of them just kind of throwing caution and care to the wind and just kind of being stupidly crazy with each other, even though the love wasn't really there, you know, there they were, they, they had the opportunity, they did some things, okay? It happened and therefore there was Elizabeth. Now. Elizabeth is was just born. She's just recently born. And I must point out that um, um, if you guys are familiar with MD Fields, the actual townie, he lives um, just as a townie with Mae West. Now, there are references to real people, but um, I won't go into that. Uh, he lives with Mae West, and they were best friends, absolutely best freaking friends and very recently you know MD has been heartbroken over the affair with his wife he loves loves Anna even though they were on rocks he didn't he felt like maybe it was just a lull that they would get over it they would get past it guys stop stop woohooing in the damn car like get it together um, they thought that they would get over it and, and get past it and he didn't really think it was any big deal but when he found out that she cheated on him out of all of this it just kind of made him crazy and he leaned on May and he also cheated on his wife <laughs> so he's basically in the same boat that she is at this point with Mae West and it actually resulted in a child um Sonny West is his son with Mae 
Now, the thing about it is even though they have improved their relationship to a point where I think that they will survive this um, romantic betrayal, MD has realized that May is the love of his life. May is the one he really has all the passion for. And he just, he never saw it while they were friends, while they were living together. He never really saw it. And was just kind of swept away with Anna. And so it kind of leaves them at a very weird and difficult position. Because, you know, Anna doesn't love Gil. Anna doesn't. And although the love for MD isn't there as strongly as it was before... She does love him, and she's he's her husband, and he ver she very much believes that you, she should stay with the man that she married, with the father of her children, even if he's not the father of one of her children. You know, that was her deal. That's her problem. You know, um, she feels like she should stay with the man that she married, and MD does too. He's, he's not going to leave her, you know, but... The question is, is he gonna con is he gonna be faithful to her? Is he gonna treat her the way she deserves to be treated? MD's not a bad guy, but he's in love with May, and now he has a child with her as well. So it kind of leaves everything in a really weird place. I thought this was a really cool place to kind of do this current household video because they are on such uneven, shaky oh my god ground right now i just figured that it would be like a perfect place to kind of do this um current household but as you can see they're like they're still trying to make it work like they 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 care for each other there's still something there but it's just you know he's in love with may he loves her i know that for a fact and he has a child with her but he also has children with anna he has two children with Anna, two daughters that he absolutely adores. So it leaves him at a really, really, really tough place. So I just, I don't know where, I don't know where they're going to go from here. But um, to give you a quick look through at their traits, MD is a daredevil. He's always had a penchant for doing things a little on the wild side. He's a heavy sleeper, easily, impre easily impressed, very charismatic. That's where that smoothness comes from. And lucky. Anna is flirty over emotional. She's a genius, and hot-headed, and a ridiculously big party animal. Little baby Helen, well, she's not a baby anymore. She's a little girl, um, is artistic. She's a diva, and she's friendly. She's going to be my little artsy-fartsy crazy girl. She knows she's beautiful. Um, baby Jack is excitable and athletic. He definitely takes after his father in that sense. And Helen is a good person, and she's a genius. So, um, yeah, you know, that, that pretty much sums it up um, for these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this current household video. I hope it wasn't too, too short for you guys. I didn't really have much to showcase to y'all since it is Roaring Heights, and you guys have pretty much seen it all of Roaring Heights at this point. Um, but I will say this house is really stunning, and I really enjoy it. If you, if you guys didn't get to take a look at the upstairs, this is the, um, I believe this is the bedroom. No, 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 no. No, this is the bedroom I set up for Helen. This is the baby's room. This is the butler's room. They do have a butler. And no, this is the room for Helen. Okay, I'm getting confused. This is the master bedroom. This is the kids' room. This is the butler's room. This is the guest room. And this is Helen's room. Okay, there we go. I got it together. My brain is there. It's working. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and end this current household video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys liked seeing a little glimpse into what I do on a normal day. Because I know I do weird things to my sims. And I know you guys are thinking just like, my, what the hell? Like, can you say... This is ridiculous enough, and yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's ridiculous. It's a little disgusting. It's a little nasty. It's a little bit, it's really, really, really naughty, and uh, uh, quite crazy. So, you know, it is what it is. It makes no apologies for being what it is. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys so much for taking interest in this current household video. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. And um, leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. You know, if you liked this current household video, you know, how, what you think. Tell me about your current households if you have one. And if you want to make a video, you know, let me know. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It's 
subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next part of whatever I make. I wish you guys could see me right now because I'm flailing around like a freaking weirdo. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Bye-bye. <laughs>